Summit, Summit Park, Park Kids. Kids. We're so glad you joined us for Summit Park Kids Online Easter Edition. Yeah, I am so happy for service today. Get it? Like Easter, happy. Love it. We want to stay connected with you throughout this week. And you can do that in a lot of different ways. First way. You can be commenting below and let us know where you're watching from. And also, tell us what your favorite thing in your Easter basket is. Oh, I love it. Mine is a big chocolate Ooh, bunny. I love chocolate bunnies. Let us know your favorite thing from your basket in the comments below. Second way, you can have your parents post on social media and use the hashtag Summit Park Church and tag Summit Park Church. Yes, we've had so much fun this week with Easter challenges. Be sure to stay up to date on all things kids online. That's awesome. We want to make sure we see all of those hashtags, so be using those. Yes, we're going to hop, like a bunny, you get it, right into today's big idea. Today's big idea is Jesus can forgive our sins. Love it. We need to learn some motions, right? Yes, yes. Okay, watch me first. Ready? Jesus can forgive our sins. Ooh, I love it. All right, everybody, stand, stand up. up. We want to hear you loud and proud on the count of three ready one, one two, two three. three jesus can forgive our sins let's do it again on three ready one two three jesus, jesus can forgive our sins. sins one more time on three ready one two three jesus, jesus can forgive our sins good job remember to tag summit park church and use the hashtag summit park church to be featured next Week. Hey, and speaking of being featured, oh, it's Celebration Station! Choo choo! Yes, during this time, we will feature someone who's posted using the hashtag Summit Park Church. I love it. Hey, so many of you have posted Easter challenges all during this week. That was on Instagram. You should follow us. <laughs> yes, that's right. Follow us on Instagram. We posted seven days of Easter challenges for the whole family to participate in. And you guys did it! Yeah, and now it's time to celebrate them. Are you ready? Oh, I love celebrations! Great job, guys. Now on to the next part of our celebration. Each week, we shout out all the birthdays coming up. I love birthdays! Oh my goodness, he loves birthdays and so do I. So help us in celebrating these awesome kids. Are you ready? Happy birthday to Cora. Joseph. Jude. Peyton. Eddington. Nadia. Andy. Charlie. Riley. Christian. And Alexander. Have the best birthday ever. Oh, you know what I love the most about birthdays, though? No, what? When we play games! Well, guess what? What? It's game time! Yes! I love game time! Woohoo! Do you know what time it is? Game time. Game time! I'm Maya. And I'm Brett. And we're going to play a game with you guys today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to play a game kind of like paper, rock, scissors. Have okay. you ever played paper, rock, scissors? I've played paper, rock, scissors. Okay, so it's kind of like that. It is called Cowboy Ninja Boot. Yes. You played it? I've played this before. Oh, isn't it fun? It's fun. This it's is a good so one. Fun. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to show you the different actions that you're going to be doing for each of those three things, and then we'll explain a little bit more. So, Cowboy, what do we do? We act like we're riding Ride the, the horse. horse. <laughs> All right, for the ninja, you're going to? Strike your favorite ninja pose, and then for the bear, you're going to get big and growl. Biggest okay. bear face ever. <laughs> so we have cowboy, ninja, bear. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be going back to back with a partner, maybe a sibling, a parent, somebody around, and you are going to pick one of those things, cowboy, ninja, or bear. That's right. And we're gonna tell you which one defeats which right now. So are you listening? Listen up. Because this is important. The cowboy defeats the... Bear. Cowboy defeats bear. bear. The ninja defeats the cowboy. The ninja gets the cowboy. And then the bear defeats the ninja. ninja. All right? Right. Okay, let's say it one more time because right. this is important. Um, all right. Cowboy defeats the... Bear. Ninja defeats the... Cowboy. And then the bear defeats the... Ninja. All right, so you guys ready? 
Let's get back to back. Let's do a practice round first, and then we're gonna do best two out of three. Okay, ready. Okay, let's go. Ready? Three, two, one. Tie! <laughs> that was a tie. That was a tie. That was, that was, that was a good practice. It's okay, it's a good practice round. <laughs> All right. So, you guys ready? Do you have your partner? Let's get back to back, and let's okay. do this. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go! This is a tie again! <laughs> good. We're flat through one. Hopefully you guys didn't tie. Who won? Who defeated who? Were you a cowboy? If you were a cowboy, that means you defeated the... Bear. The bear. Were you a ninja? If you were a ninja, you defeated the cowboy. cowboy. We didn't defeat anybody because we keep making the same Even one. And then remember that bear beats ninja. Okay, right. come on. Round two. So I guess they're tied in. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go! No! Ah. <laughs> we are not! We tied again. No! Okay. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you guys are tied. We're tied every time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> round three. Let's go! Let's decide it. Oh, who's gonna win it? <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> How have we tied three times in a row? Oh my gosh, okay. Who won on your side? Oh. I hope you had fun. Um, let's try that one more time. One more okay? time? We can't tie all four times. Okay, let's go one more time. Okay, so let's play again. Last round. <laughs> Last round. Oh my goodness. All right. Three, two, one. You win. I win? Dang it. Yay! You won. Great job, guys! Did you have fun with Brett and Maya? I bet they did, but we want to hear who won. Who yeah, won? Yeah, who did? Man, that is awesome! But you know what? I have something awesome I want to share. What is it? We have a brand new Big Word Challenge! Oh my goodness, I want to hear it. Good. The Big Word Challenge comes from the book of Colossians. Colossians. Yeah, Colossians. 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 It says this, it says, when Christ who is your life appears, then you will appear with him in glory. Colossians 3, 4. Colossians. I love our Big Word Challenges. We do a Big Word Challenge every single weekend because we want to hide in God's Word in our hearts. We want to claim to God's Word when we have a sad day, a bad day, or a really, really rad day. Yeah, the Bible is God's Word and God's Word is good stuff. Speaking of challenges, Pastor Zach has a challenge for you. He's making a TikTok and he wants you guys to recreate it. And if you do a TikTok, you might just get featured in next weekend's service video. Great job. I want to see those click clocks. TikTok. Yeah. Man, that was awesome. Sick moves, or should I say, tick tock moves. <laughs> but now it's time for offering. Yes, when we give an offering, it's just another way to show our love by worshiping God. Yeah, but offering looks a little different when we do church online. It does. We want you to give your offering to your parents. And then your parents can give your offering online at summitparkchurch.com. That is awesome. Remember, we have an offering verse and it comes from Malachi 3.10. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. This verse is a command from God to give faithfully, knowing that God will use what we give him to make his kingdom grow. Yeah, we can still give today, and what you are giving is making an impact to God's kingdom. You are a kingdom builder. That's right, you are a kingdom builder. Everybody say it with me. I, I am a kingdom, kingdom builder. builder. Yes, you are, you are a kingdom builder. Thank you so much for giving to help God's kingdom grow. Man, great job, guys! Hey, Tim, back here. Oh! <laughs> Good? Good. All right, before we start our Bible lesson, we want to do our big idea one more time. And remember, our big idea is Jesus can forgive our sins. All right, let's do it all together. Stand up loud and proud. Are you ready? I'm ready. On three. One, one two, two, three. Jesus, Jesus can forgive 
our sins. One more time on three. One, two, three. Jesus can forgive our sins. Good job. Now we're going to hop right into our Bible lesson. Hop, get it, Easter. Good job. Happy Easter. How many of you guys already started eating your Easter treats today? I know I have. You can keep snacking while we begin our Bible lesson. Speaking of the beginning, in the beginning, God created the world. God saw that it was good. God created the land and sea and sky. He saw that it was good. He created every plant and animal on earth, every bird, every sea creature, every mammal. Anything you can think of, he made it. And once again, God saw that it was good. God finished his creation by creating male and female. He gave them a beautiful place to live called the Garden of Eden. He gave them one rule. Do not eat the fruit from the knowledge of good and evil. Everything was good right up until the moment Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit. God's perfect creation had been ruined by one act of rebellion. What's worse, Adam and Eve become separated from God. They once knew personally, face to face. They could no longer stand in his presence because they were sinners. God told them the punishment for sin was death, and there was nothing they could ever do to save themselves from this sentence. Thankfully for us, that was not the end of our story. It was only the beginning, and that leads me to our first point. All right, you guys ready? Write it down. Our first point is God always has a plan. Again, our first point is God always has a plan. God set in motion a plan that one day he would make everything right. He taught his chosen people, Israel, the difference between right and wrong, showing them what sin was and why they were sinners. He was promised to send someone one day to make everything right. In our last series, we learned who that person was. Jesus is the Messiah. He came to save us. Jesus could do one thing that no one ever could do and we couldn't do it for ourselves. The followers of Jesus were so sad. They believed that Jesus was God's son and they believed he had come to do something special. When Jesus was arrested, convicted, and put to death on the cross, they truly believed he was gone. Jesus had healed the sick and even raised people from the dead, but they couldn't even imagine him raising himself from the dead. When Jesus rose from the grave, he conquered death once and for all. God gave his power over death so that he could raise us to a new life as well. We all die an earthly death, but because of Jesus, we are no longer to be separated from God for eternity. Jesus can forgive our sins. And that leads us to our second point. Write it down, are you ready? Jesus offers new life. That's right, he gives us a new life. He can give us eternal life with him in heaven. We find out more in 2 Corinthians 5.17. Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. What does this new life look like then? Well, let's turn to my dear, fantastic, stylish cousin, Ursula, who just posted an unboxing all about this. Are you ready? Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Unboxings with Ursula. I'm Ursula. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe so you can see all of my videos. Also, give me a big thumbs up. All right, today I'm opening the ultimate Easter egg good news box. That sure sounds good. and I love that so much. All right, now that we read that, let's read our second step. It says, collect all supplies and create the ultimate egg craft. All right, guys, you are in for a treat. So what I need you to do is go get a piece of paper, some markers, and get ready. All right, do you have your markers and your paper? If you don't, 
pause this video and go get it. If you do, get ready, because you're gonna have so much fun. Are you guys ready? All right, now, that paper, you want to fold it in half, okay? So let's fold it in half, like a hamburger, okay? No hot dogs, just a hamburger. All right, so you're folded in half, all right? Okay, next, you want to take it and fold it down. Are you guys ready? So you wanna fold it down. That top layer goes down, and then you fold it again. You guys see that? Awesome. If you don't have it, pause it. You can rewind it. We want you to get this, okay? You got it? All right. So now that we've got our papers folded, it's time to draw. Are you guys ready? Let me grab mine. Are you ready? All right. We've got our paper. We've got our markers. It's time to draw. So first, grab your black marker. And you'll want to do some grass. So are you guys ready? Let's draw some grass. All right, grass, check. All right, now we're gonna make the Easter egg. So an Easter egg has a top and a bottom. So first, let's do the top, a big upside down U. See that? All right, now the bottom part, you're gonna just curve it right into the grass. All right, everybody's Easter egg can look different. So this is the part to make it different. You get to design your Easter egg. Are you ready? All right, start doing some lines. You can do some dots. All right, you guys got yours figured out? Okay, so. We're gonna put that to the side. Now, we folded it, so now we gotta unfold it. But there's so much space. What are we gonna do with that? All right, so make sure you got it figured out. All right. So, we are going to draw a cross. And why a cross? It's Easter, why not like a little rabbit or a chick? It's because Easter is all about how Jesus died on the cross. And guess what? He rose again. He gave us a new life. That is awesome. So that's why we celebrate Easter. All right, so let's draw our cross. Are you guys ready? Okay. I'm gonna go up, over, over again, and then right up there. Okay, so. Now is the time to get fun and creative. So we're gonna color it in. So, once you've got it colored in, we're gonna come right back. All right, are you guys done? If you need a little bit more time, you can pause this video. But if you're done, I want you to show me. I can see them all. I love them. All right, here's mine. So you know what the best part is? You can show your friends and your family this project. So watch, are you ready? Let's take these off. All right, fold it down. It looks just like an Easter egg. Then you show your friends and family what's inside the cross and that gives you a perfect opportunity to tell people what Easter is all about and that was our step number four tell your friends and family all about this art project okay good job guys you did so awesome and I would love to see all these pictures so be sure to send them put them in the comments thanks so much for watching you guys are the best have the best Easter ever bye Wow, thanks Ursula. How awesome was that? This new series introduces what Jesus said and shows us how to receive salvation and the way to experience life here on earth. You probably heard about a verse that talks about how much Jesus loves you and I. 
so much that he was willing to die for our sins so we can experience life with him. And that verse is John 3.16. It says this, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. See, it's not about being perfect, but it's about knowing that we have a God who always wants to forgive us of our mistakes. You know, my cousin Tommy Streams has a video just about this. Let's uh, take a look at that. What's up guys, Tommy Streams here, and we are back again for another Minecraft stream. All right, so I'm back in our world that we've been working on for a couple of weeks, and this weekend is Easter. It's Easter weekend, and I love Easter. It really is one of my favorite holidays, so I wanted to do something to celebrate. So I started building uh, this giant Easter egg over here on the top of this mountain. Um, it's like it's like a decorated Easter egg. It's already decorated. It's got some colors on it. It's got some fun. Um, I love decorating Easter eggs. Do, do you like decorating Easter eggs? I love it. Like it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, so so I'm so excited to do that this Easter. But here's here's an Easter egg that I've already went and built and decorated and everything. And I'm pretty excited about it today uh, for our stream. I'm just gonna be finishing it up. Um, oh. Mm. This is embarrassing. I just realized I made a mistake uh, earlier. Hold on, this doesn't, that doesn't look quite right. Let's see here, I gotta, I think I need to add that. And then, man, it still doesn't, hold on, let me look at the other side. Let's see, um, okay, hold on. Um, you know, I think it goes right there. There we go, that's better. You know, that wasn't my fault. I think there was like a, a flying spaghetti monster or something, or maybe maybe it was one of the zombies in the game came and took some of the blocks. Maybe that was it. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, uh, I got it fixed. We're good. Uh. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, so today we'll be finishing it up. I just got to put some blocks on the top and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, just this little block right here. Let's see, right here. And then I'm going to put a couple blocks here to finish up the top of our Easter egg. And then maybe, do I want one there? Yeah, maybe I want one there. All the way to the top. So there's our giant, absolutely giant Easter egg that overlooks this whole valley. Um, and it's crazy. Every time I build, I, I build something that's like even higher and can be seen from even further away, um, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is our Easter egg. So here's what I want to see. If you are going to make an Easter egg, uh, like decorate Easter eggs or anything, take some pictures, post it online, use the hashtag Summit Park Church. I want to see those. Or if you build like a giant Easter egg in Minecraft, maybe you can build one bigger than the one I built. Um, I'd love to see that. Or maybe with Legos or whatever you've got. I would love to see. Oh, hey, look, a town. Um, but I would love to see the things that you guys build. Um, and you know, I have a confession to make. Um, that mistake that I made earlier, it was my fault. I made that mistake. It wasn't It wasn't a zombie. It wasn't a giant flying spaghetti monster. It was me. I messed up. I just, I forgot to add those blocks in and it's embarrassing. It's kind of embarrassing to mess up in a build when you're streaming uh, like this. But, um, you know, it kind of reminds me about the Easter story. You know, in the very beginning of that story, Adam and Eve were in the garden, and that was before anybody had ever made a mistake before. But then they did make a mistake, and it was a pretty big mistake. It was a mistake that went against God's plan. See, God had a plan for, for Adam and Eve. God had something he asked them to do, and they, they didn't do it. They didn't listen to him. They actually did the opposite of what he said. And that's what we call sin. Sin is just whenever we do something that is the opposite of what God wants us to to do in our life. And so uh, it could be something that hurts other people. It could be something that hurts yourself. It could be something that just God doesn't like to see happen in, in, in his world. But the good thing is that in the Easter story, uh, God came uh, as Jesus. God sent his only son, Jesus. He himself came as Jesus and his only son, Jesus. Crazy. And he, but he came and, and he died on a cross for us. And what he did was, I mean, he accomplished the biggest project of all time. Uh, bigger than any Minecraft project any of us has ever done. I mean, I've done some pretty big Minecraft projects. Better than anything anybody in the world's ever done. Did you know? I just heard this. There was a guy who just finished building the whole planet Earth in Minecraft. The entire planet Earth. He built it in Minecraft. That's crazy. But 
what God did on Easter, what Jesus did for us on Easter, the project he finished on Easter, man, that was bigger than any project anybody's ever done in Minecraft or in life at all. Because what it did is it washed away all of our sins. It saved us. It meant we were forgiven. It meant the mistakes we made no longer counted. It meant we were we were good again, like we were before Adam and Eve ever made a mistake. That's what Easter means. Easter means God came and he forgave us. He took the sacrifice for us. He took the penalty for us. Like, have you ever been in trouble and like somebody got in trouble instead of you? Like where you were like, oh, I did that thing wrong. I was the one who did that thing that they're getting punished for, but I am not getting punished, they got punished. That's what Jesus did. Jesus went and he got punished for us instead of us getting punished, but it wasn't a mistake. He did it on purpose. See, you had done something wrong, I had done something wrong, and Jesus said, no, don't punish them. Don't let them be the one in trouble. Let me be the one who gets punished. Let me be the one who gets in trouble. Wow. Man, have you ever had a friend that was that good? See, Jesus said in the Bible that no, nobody has a better friend than someone who has a friend who's willing to die for them. And that's what Jesus did. He died for us. And that's, that's a crazy good friend. And it was bigger than he just died for us. It was, he forgave us. He brought us life and life eternal. Eternal means never ending, like forever and ever and ever. And so what Easter means is that you have a chance to live forever and ever and ever with Jesus in a place that we call heaven, which is crazy. And Easter is seriously one of the coolest holidays because what it means is, is everything for you. It means so much. And so I'm excited to celebrate Easter today. I can't wait to go decorate some more eggs. I've been decorating eggs. I've been building this massive egg in Minecraft. I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Um, and I wanna encourage you guys, do the same. Do some stuff to celebrate because what Jesus did today, man, it's, it's the biggest project anybody's ever accomplished. Way bigger than this egg that I built, but I am pretty proud of it. So um, um, hey, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks, Tommy. It's always so cool seeing the things that you build. Man, the resurrection of Jesus is the most important moment in the entire Bible because it's the fulfillment of God's plan to save the world. It's also the fulfillment of the promise that God made in the very beginning of the story. See, God sent Jesus to die for us because he knew there was no other way to save us. See, every single one of us sins every day. It's in our nature. As much as we might try to be good, we can never be good enough to pay the price for our own sins. The New Testament teaches us that, the, that only Jesus can save us from our sins. There are many false teachers and false religions out there that will tell you that you can save yourself, but Jesus himself said he's our only hope to be saved. How blessed are we to have a God who loves us so much? He could have just given up on us, looked the other way, and went on without us. But God loved us so much that he gave his only son as a sacrifice for our sins. See, Jesus conquered death when he rose from the grave. He has the power to forgive our sins and he has the power to give us a new life. Jesus is the only one with the power to be our savior. See, he died for every lie we ever told, every hurtful thing we've ever done, every rule we've ever broken. Because Jesus lives, that means you and I, we get to live too. And I know there's some of you here today who might be saying, man, this all sounds awesome, this story of Jesus, I've never heard this before. Or maybe you're saying, I've heard this before, but I've never made the decision to start to follow Jesus. And if you're here today watching this, wherever you are, whether it's your bedroom, your basement, or in the kitchen, I wanna give you a chance to make that decision to start to follow Jesus. You know, the Bible says it's really easy to make that choice. All you have to do is just believe in your heart and say with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. What that means is if you believe it in your heart and you say it with your mouth that Jesus really is God, that Jesus really did die for you to save you, then you will be saved. It's that easy. So I wanna give you a chance to do that. If you're sitting here, you're saying, man, I wanna make that decision to start to follow Jesus today. You got step one done. You believe it in your heart. If you're saying that you believe it in your heart, 
I wanna give you a chance to say it out loud. So here's what we'll do. We'll say a prayer and I just want you to repeat after me. And if you're watching this and you've ever prayed this prayer before, I want you to join and say this prayer with us because we believe here at Summer Park Kids that no one should ever have to pray alone. So hey, let's say this prayer together, whether you're making this decision for the first time, saying it for the very first time, or whether you've done this a hundred times before. Let's say this prayer together to finish off today. Jesus, thank you so much for loving me. I love you too. Forgive me for the things that I've done and help me to love others like you loved me. Jesus, I will follow you from this day forward. Amen, amen. Hey, if you made that decision today, let me tell you this, it's the best decision you will ever make. Better than any decision you made before, better than any decision you'll make one day, is the decision to follow Jesus. Because what it means is that you get to live with Jesus forever and ever and ever, which is what you were made for. That's what you were made for. So hey, I wanna take a second to celebrate the fact that you made that decision because it's the best decision you will ever make. Great job making that choice today. Well, hey, as we wrap up our Bible lesson today, I want to wish each and every one of you the best Easter ever. I hope it is the greatest Easter that you'll ever have. Remember that Jesus is the reason we are celebrating today. All right, now we've had our Bible lesson. It's time for the big quiz. Are you guys ready? Get a notebook out, a pen, and get ready for these questions. All right, I hope you got those notebooks ready, those pens ready to go, because here is question number one. Our big idea today was Jesus can blank our sins. Is it A, forgive, B, forget, or C, make a fort with? Again, our big idea today was Jesus can blank our sins. Is it A, forgive, B, forget, or C, make a fort with? I love forts. Oh, I love it. All right, now question number two. Jesus died on the cross for who? A, just our parents, B, everyone or c easter bunnies oh, i love easter bunnies all right again question number two jesus died on the cross for who just her parents everyone or easter bunnies hmm, hmm. Easter okay bunnies. maybe it could be question number three our first point today was god always has blank is it a love b candy or c a plan. Again, question number three said our first point was God always has what? Is it A, love, B, candy, or C, a plan? Love it. All right, we're on to question number four. Ursula made what kind of crap? A bunny rabbit, an Easter egg, or a unicorn? Ooh, I love unicorns. All right, question number four again. Ursula made what kind of crap? A bunny rabbit, an Easter egg, or a unicorn. Trying unicorn. to remember, trying to remember. All right, our last question, question number five. Our second point today was, Jesus offers blank life. Is it A, new, B, old, or C, the same? Again, our second point today was, Jesus offers blank life. Is it A, new, B, old, or C, the same? All right, now we need to know how many of you guys got those questions right. Are we ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's find out the answers. All right, here we go. The answer to question number one. Let's, let's remember the question yeah. first. Our first question was, our big idea was Jesus can blank our sins. Was it A, forgive, B, forget, or C, make a fort with? All right, you guys ready to find out the answers? I'm ready. Here we go. The correct answer was... A, forgive. If you got that, you got it right. Give yourself a little check mark to give yourself a point. And let's move on to question number two. All right, question number two. Remember, it was Jesus died on the cross for who? Just our parents, everyone, or Easter bunnies? I think All it's right. Easter bunnies. Are you ready? The answer to Jesus died on the cross for who is everyone. Oh, it was B, everyone. If you said everyone, give yourself a check mark. You got another point. Let's move on to question number three. Remember that question said, our first point today was God always has what? Was it A, love, 
B, candy, or C, a plan? And the correct answer was... C, a plan! Awesome! Give yourself a check mark if you got that one right. All right, question number four was, Ursula made what kind of craft? A bunny rabbit, an Easter egg, or a unicorn? Again, Ursula made what kind of craft? It was B, an Easter egg. An Easter egg, great job. If you said Easter egg, you got it right. Give yourself a little check mark. And our last question, question number five. Remember it said our second point was, Jesus offers blank life. Was it A, new, B, old, or C, the same? The correct answer was A, new, new life. If you got that right, give yourself a check mark and then go ahead and add up all your points. Put your total at the top and let us know what you got. Yeah. Go ahead, take a picture of your big quiz sheet, post it online, use the hashtag Summit Park Church. Thanks for playing the big quiz. Thanks so much for joining us for Summit Park Kids Online Easter Edition. Woo! Remember, ask mom and dad to go to summitparkchurch.com slash kids. If you're in elementary, you can find small group guides, activity sheets, as well as Ursula's craft. Woo! Yeah. So if you're not in kindergarten yet, we have the Bible adventure videos, picture passes, coloring sheets for you to print out. And make sure you post your pictures and videos of everything you've done today using the hashtag Summit Park Church and tag Summit Park Church to be featured in next week's service. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today at Summit Park Kids Online Easter Edition. Have the best Easter ever. Bye! Bye.